G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all again. More often than not, in today's housing market, fittings and fixtures are coming in from overseas that don't comply with the Australian standards. Today what I've got is a toilet seat that I'm going to be replacing. Not everything in Australia today is of one single fitting or fixture because we're getting so many things in from overseas. Back in the heyday, everything was like a 40 mil pipe or um, 100 mil pipe or whatever. Whereas now, there's so many things coming in from overseas or our market in Australia is getting flooded with so many different fittings and fixtures and um, we're getting so many choices that not everything's compatible. So you need to make sure that when you fit things in together or when you're replacing things in your bathroom, kitchen, wherever else in the house, laundry, that they're compatible with what you've already got there. We've had some major problems with this toilet seat and I was told that it was a universal toilet seat when I changed it over. This is the third toilet seat that I've got. Now I've gone out and got the exact same toilet seat as what was manufactured. So if it was an Imperial, I'd get an Imperial toilet seat. If it was a Gemini, I'd get a Gemini toilet seat. That way what I'm doing is reducing the risk of not having something that's compatible and I'm also making sure that I can try and fit in with that product the best I can. So step this way and let's see how well we go at fitting these back off and it's staying there without blasted coming off once again. Here we've got one of the lugs. Now the lugs, if you can see that, that'll just twist once I've got it in and then I'll pull this down and we've got a special plastic clip that'll hold it into place. Then we can screw through that. Next, what we do is we get the back of the toilet seat. And what we'll do is we'll put these lugs on first and then we'll screw them into place. Now what you want to do is make sure that the lugs are centered. The lugs are actually in the same position on both sides. Make sure you don't tighten it up too much otherwise you can break the plastic lugs and you can also strip the fitting gut that goes straight through and then the toilet seat will keep coming out. That's censored now, that's into place, that's not wobbling at all. Now the seat's sitting a little bit too far forward, so what we're going to do is move it back. toilet covers, the, the rim of the toilet seat covers nicely all the way around. We can close that up. We get the two blocking lugs. Clip those off. If you need to take off the excess, you can always just take off the excess of that with the Stanley knife. Toilet seat's nice and comfortably. That stays up. That stays up, doesn't come down and hit you in the end of the willy. That's what we want to see. So, here we go. Fixture fixed properly. Make sure you get the right one for the right job. You don't want to get a universal one. You want to get, as I said before, if it's a certain type of brand, get the brand that fits and fixes into place on that one. Before I go, another little quick trick is 
don't get a toilet seat that slams down, especially if you've got kids. This is only a small plastic one. The old lid that we used to have here was very heavy. If you have kids, try and get either a soft closer or a nice light lid like that so it doesn't slam down. Another helpful handy hint around the house. Thanks for watching. Any other questions or queries, flick them over and I'll answer them best I can when I can. Till then, like always, stay awesome.